Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the 31st of August 2020. Um, this is meant to be a reading that is dedicated to the sign of Aries and uh, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever you're feeling comfortable with and just leave the rest of it aside. If however you do have any questions or you would like to have a personal reading please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail com, and uh, you will find all my information also into the YouTube drop box right below of this video. On another note, if you do enjoy my channel and you do enjoy my messages and you have not yet subscribed, please do click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, Let's begin this reading. Um, this reading here, I have a mix of fairies. So it's a fairy lover's uh, reading. So we, what we really want to know, I'm sorry, that was difficult, wasn't it? What I really want to know here is what to look out for for the future. Okay, so this is a relationship advice for, um, for the future on what to be careful of. So we're using the fairies and the lover's oracles. Let's just switch these around and see what we can get. So I have confidence. I have discovery. I also have sanctuary and I have two of these. So, okay. So let's see here. If you could do anything, what would it be? Hmm. Now the answer does dwell within your heart, you have to say, and not within your mind. For the heart is the gateway of the soul. Now, that all comes down to you need to be listening to yourself. You need to be listening to your intuition. You need to be listening to what your heart wants. What does your heart want? Do you know what your heart wants or is it what your mind wants? You really need to dissociate both of them because they're always conflicting. They're always getting together. Uh, you don't really know who's speaking and you know you just do something but it's not always coming from the heart. That being said, um, you do have to have a lot of confidence coming up. I feel as though you're lacking confidence in your relationships um, and you know confidence is really just having the belief in yourself to keep uh, to keep you going on the self-assurance so that you get exactly where it is that you want to be. So if you want to be in a relationship or you want to stay into this relationship, you need to show a little bit more of self-confidence. You need to love yourself, you know, of course, before loving somebody else. And that works a lot with your confidence also. Because if you love yourself and you know yourself, it's about knowledge of yourself also. Because if you love yourself and you know everything about yourself, you are able with your abilities having confidence on moving forward forward and confidence is really really interesting for another partner in a relationship so it's really really important for you in all spheres of life but really in your relationship very important to have that confidence and don't have that that lack of confidence and then often trust issues come on playing and that's just no good it turns to bad so be very very careful about your confidence be careful about knowing what it is that you truly want what your heart wants um, and you know what do some discovery find some things. Don't always do the same thing. Try something new. If you um, if you always do the same activities with your partner, well, you know, it could get lame. It could get boring. You could get, you know, very, very stagnant. Try something new. And no matter what it is, I mean, if it is, I don't know, you don't usually go dancing. You decide you're going to go dancing or you go to the restaurant or uh, you try a different mood. Just try something different. Okay, and it's, you'll see all the world that it's going to do and just um, all the new knowledge that it's going to bring to you also. And when I talk about discovery, I don't always mean necessarily within the relationship also. Yourself, maybe there's something that you want to do and then you have not done in ages that you really, really want to do. It could be taking up a, a dance lesson. It could be taking up maybe learning a new language. Whatever it is, that is going to bring you some discovery. It's going to bring you some, um, some knowledge, some growth. It's going to bring you some joy, some happiness, and you're going to want to share that. And that's just all new information to be shared within the couple, which adds into the couple also. And then I also have, you know, uh, the sanctuary, which is really, you know, within your heart, there's a space of regenerating, um, you know, and, and that's where, where you have to be. Whenever you're not feeling, you know, uh, you, you're feeling kind of down, you're feeling less confident, um, you don't quite know exactly what it is that you want. Well, you know what? 
go to your sanctuary go to that place that is only yours okay go to that place that you can call your own where you can meditate you can do some yoga you can just be by yourself listen to music if that's what makes you think and makes you relax whatever makes you feel good with yourself by yourself and lets you find those answers and listen to your intuition very important to try and find that little place for yourself and uh, lastly you know what I have here emotions are um, a natural and necessary part of life but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision so in order to see things clearly you must let go of resentment so if you do have any resentments in your relationship right now may it be coming from hurt from the past or maybe even just um, resentment from a past relationship that has never gone away that is somewhat surfacing again into this relationship although they're not the ones who had caused this you really need to let that go you need to uh, you know close that chapter off so you can um, so you can grow in this relationship on a healthy path so that being said this is pretty much what you have to look for so I'm going to recap because you know I haven't been talking that long but I do talk quite a bit and I do talk a lot so um you have to work on your confidence. You have to stay strong. You have to know what it is that you want and you have to go for it. You have to try new things, okay? Do some discovery in the relationship and by yourself. Uh, find a place that's all for you, that is just for you, where you can go, where you need to be with yourself every once in a while. And while you're there, figure out what it is that you want exactly out of this relationship, okay? May it be with your heart. Figure that out. Very, very important. And let go of the past let go of any resentment anything that is negative from the past you need to let go so you can make room for the positive to come in so that being said this is your um, relationship um advice for what's coming up so right now into the present and into the future um, I hope that you were able to get some interesting information out of it I hope you're going to going to apply it if you do have any questions and you would like to have a personal reading romancefultarot at gmail.com please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and um, stay tuned for the uh, following readings well there's a daily snapshot coming out tonight also so and uh, tomorrow is going to be a full moon uh, reading so stay tuned for that one I do wish you a fantastic day, many, many blessings, and I'll be seeing you soon.